text reads, I might not see you, but you can always see me. The screen is divided down the middle. On the left, a young man, Rory, and on the right, a young woman, Roxy. Rory and Roxy are walking in separate locations along footpaths. Rory has a dog guide and Roxy is using a long cane. A dog guide or a white cane helps people who are blind or have low vision move around safely. The screen pulls back to show Roxy walking on a shared footpath. We hear a young man on a skateboard pass Roxy. There's a young boy on a scooter, a young girl on rollerblades and a man on a motorised scooter there's a shared footway sign. Cyclists, remember that you make less sound and are harder to detect. A young girl on a bicycle approaches from Roxy's left-hand side and passes in front of her. Roxy continues walking. Follow the rules, slow down and ring your bell. The screen splits again. Roxy disappears. Rory, with his dog guide, reappears. Rory turns left at a street corner and walks past a tradesman painting the outside of a building. Rory's path is obstructed by the tradesman's utility. Sorry, mate. I'll just move it for you. Thanks, pal. The tradesman moves his utility and Rory continues walking. All members of the community need to be aware that they can create hazards for pedestrians who are vision impaired. Scene changes to Rory with his dog guide walking towards Roxy, who's sitting on a park bench. They start talking to each other. Is that you, Roxy? Yeah, it's so nice to see you, Rory. Hey, how about this great weather? Oh, it's fantastic. The sun feels great. Go to the, beach on the, weekend. the scene slowly pans out to reveal the surrounding neighbourhood. Text appears on the screen which reads, I might not see you, but you can always see me. Scene changes. Rory is walking with his dog guide towards a zebra crossing. They stop at the crossing. Several motor vehicles pass as Rory looks left and right to help establish whether it's safe to cross. Rory commands his dog guide to commence crossing. Forward. A car approaches and stops abruptly at the crossing. The young male driver is impatient and agitated. Rory does not proceed to cross. People who use canes or dog guides may take longer to cross the road. The driver flashes his headlights. Rory will not cross and instead signals to the driver to continue. The car proceeds. See yourself! As Rory and Dog Guide cross, another car, driven by a young woman, approaches and stops, allowing them to cross safely. Drivers stop before the pedestrian crossing, remain patient and always follow the road rules. The young woman driver smiles. The scene fades. Text appears which reads, I might not see you, but you can always see me. New scene shows Roxy walking towards traffic lights and locates tactile ground surface indicators with her long cane. Roxy waits with a group of pedestrians for the correct times to cross. An elderly woman leans towards Roxy and asks her if she needs assistance. You need some assistance, darling. Thanks for asking, but I'll be fine. Roxy places her hand on the audio tactile button as she waits. Vic Roads provides assistance for people who are blind or have low vision. The signal changes and Roxy commences to cross. The scene fades. Text appears which reads, I might not see you, but you can always see me. A new scene showing a car being driven by an elderly male. Oh, what's that? As we grow older, our eyes change. Different vision impairments can change the way you see things. Vision impairments can include... From the perspective of the driver inside the car, the screen depicts several different forms of blindness or low vision. Tunnel vision, central loss, left or right field loss, blurred vision, patches. The elderly male turns his car left into a driveway and collides with a wheelie bin. Ow. If you notice changes in your vision, see your eye doctor immediately. There is assistance available when you can no longer drive safely. Text appears. Remember, there is help available to you once you have made the decision to stop driving. Guide Dogs Victoria and Vision Australia are the experts in vision loss, providing services to people who are blind or have low vision to help you stay safe, independent and connected to the community.
the scene changes. We're close up to Roxy and Rory with Dog Guide, who are sitting at a park bench. Roxy starts to sing as the screen pulls back to show the wider landscape. Text of the song lyrics are displayed as they sing. The wider view reveals the city behind them and in the foreground are houses, footpaths and a road with cars and a cyclist. On the footpath there are various people including a businesswoman, a skateboarder, a tradesman, an elderly male, a motorised scooter. The scene becomes smaller and is moved into the top left corner. Other boxes appear showing various characters from the story. There are 15 boxes in total, five across and three down. Text is displayed in the middle of the screen. I might not see you, but you can always see me. A recent study found one in 12 pedestrians who are blind or have low vision were hit by a vehicle or bicycle in the past five years. Let's work together for safer roads and footpaths. Brought to you by Guide Dogs Victoria and Vision Australia with the support of the Victorian Community Road Safety Partnership Program. If you have any concerns about your vision or your mobility, contact Guide Dogs Victoria or Vision Australia. Text reads, brought to you by Vision Australia and Guide Dogs Victoria with the support of the Victorian Community Road Safety Program. Across the bottom of the screen, there are four logos for Vision Australia, Guide Dogs Victoria, Statewide Community Road Safety Group and the Victorian Government.